hello guys in this video we will learn how to create a serial number and uh, SQL using Java application for that we will simply create a table so just think this ID here so we will write a query for this how to create serial number 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be very much useful in developing uh, application which is related to POS point of sale application so you will have plenty of invoices and uh, a reference number and uh, create number something like that which should be in a SQL seri serial order so I'll show you how to enter them but uh, let's just check whether this is a decimal so I just want to make some other table create table create table some invoice invoice number and uh, create table invoice number and what we'll use data type uh, invoice number yeah rc has two invoice number serial invoice number we'll mention it as sl sl invoice number where two of something around uh, 20 characters okay so table is created successfully something serial number so it is having uh, a capacity of storing uh, 20 characters okay so now we'll create an thing so just this the logic first we need to write the query and implement the query using Java okay first what will be the query for this so I'll just save my time with the auto suggestions select invoice number sorry select sorry SL what happened to this sorry I'll just reconnect this it's having some problem with some server select uh, SL invoice number um, okay I'll just click on this select select se invoice number from um invoice INV wo, I see invoice and wo, okay so we got the select INV wo. just put count here to just count whether there are how many serial numbers there just count so we know the count is zero now now just count plus one so this will be your first thing so just copy this we got the value of this right just copy it and just go to java application so in the previous tutorial i have shown you how to create database connection between your java application and database so here will directly so you can simply see the connection class i have just made it like this so we'll create a method now connect um, public void generate invoice number okay so we'll pass a query here so this may be useful for uh, plenty of uh, different different sources so you can simply pass your query here so pass query query okay now I'll get connection just has to create the connection connection is equals to null or uh, yeah null so connection is equals to is equals to db connection what is database connection sorry database connection dot get connection okay so you can see here yeah it get connection method and uh, it's the database connection I have got it now just create your query or else you can directly make a statement <coughs> st equals to connection dot create statement and st dot um, 
first we need to sorry a little bit common mistake you need to put them in a try cache block because it throws an SQL exception try cache block and st dot um, execute execute um, just a second yeah I forgot I got I got the mistake actually so we have imported the bean statement we have to import the SQL statement actually here so that was the wrong to, to get this error so it's everything is working fine statement we have to get the SQL statement interface statement so st is equals to connection dot create statement okay now st dot um execute our string uh, pass query we are just passing this query here and uh, here we just we, we need to get the value right so you need to use execute query actually not execute execute will only execute the query but uh, we need to get some value right so right now we got some value just it returns result set object so it's a uh, result set is an uh, interface node okay result set set is equals to something this statement dot exit query if uh, set dot next okay so we'll just take one int value int instance value and get value okay so get value we are just getting the value i'll show you what i'll be getting there so get value is equals to integer dot percent of um, integer percent of set dot get string one so we are i'll show you why i'm writing all these things so we got just think we got this value now now we'll just uh, I'll show you what I'll be doing here now this is created successfully right now I'll create another method to insert the serial number okay public void insert and I see insert uh, serial serial number okay this is not so hard as it looks like it's a simple query actually so just you need to pass the query as the same or else no need to pass we can simply now we need to go to the database again right so first query is this and the second query will be insert into invoice number values and just it's only one query right just get this we'll just add some value whether it's working or not okay just yes it was working we'll just check in wise number yes it is there so delete from invoice num so we got the queries insert into so when you try to insert values you must use prepared statement actually so this is the prepared statement declaration will be something like this okay so string insert data is equals to this so try cache block so prepared statement ts is equals to connection dot prepared statement so the one more thing is i forgot to get the connection again here we'll just get the connection connection is equals to database connection dot get connection okay so we got the connection successfully 
so prepared statement and we need to pass the query here in prepared statement just pass it now ps dot set string now here is the thing one before getting that I'll tell you what will be the thing okay here just you need to get uh, some invoice number inv string invoice is equals to invoice number plus some you want to add some date okay new simple date format simple date format just check it you will get you will love it actually new date so I'll just add the format here so date uh, month year okay and uh, dot plus okay this is date right plus oh sorry this is date and this is for month uh, new date we have to import the date java dot util dot date so date is inserted and just get the value here right close it I'll show you what you don't get worried I'll show you what's going to happen so pass the env here okay now now we need to pass a query here right I'll just pass a query and I'll explain you what is going on now so just pass this query here uh, how to pass just before executing this I will just execute that also so get sorry generate invoice number we have to pass a query like this now just see here I'm just passing this query in this place okay I'm just calling the great generate invoice in the query of insert serial number just see I'm just passing the query select count serial number plus one so this returns the value one for the first time so the one we are get retrieving at the place of get value so we got the one value here and I'm just I have just created a string here string inv is equal to inv wo plus I have created a simple date format so that it will be stored uh, with invoice string with a date format and uh, the one will be stored here it will be appended here so I'll show we'll just print it also for more okay so I have printed here now ps dot execute we'll just execute it right and uh, SYSOU to dot uh, insert was successful. So, just we'll just print a message whether the data is inserted successful or not. Now, I'll just call this value in main method. So, we need to execute the program, right? So, I'll just call it here, paste it. Oh, sorry we need to create an object for this right so just will call new uh, test class okay test class dot insert invoice serial number now I'll just compile the program once we'll see what happens see the invoice number is this one so insert was successful right now I'll just check it whether the data was inserted successful or not mm, yes so invoice is a string yeah, in vivo I have created a string and this will be the date 09 you can see uh, today's date is 09 6 2017 and 1 now when you again recompile this so I forgot to close the connection here sorry for that so just go for finally block sorry try cache block connection dot close
just again just to be sure that connection is closed because there won't be any leakage problem here so if I recompile this program now it will be entered 2 here just check it see 2 has come here the same way as many times you want to make it you will be keep on getting the serial numbers 8 you can see 9 and 10 level so there is no need of worry of your serial number here right so it will be in a sequence so by this you can create serial numbers you can only see only the last two numbers are changing here if you want you can simply remove the data and simply add the numbers also so that will be more grateful so by this way you can simply create serial numbers okay so thank you for thank you guys for watching please do subscribe thank you